How close can two commercial airplanes get to each other while at an airport? Well, the answer depends on where they are and what they're doing. On the ground, if aircraft are taxiing on active taxiways or crossing runways, separation is typically maintained by air traffic controllers, often keeping at least 200 feet between them. However, on ramp or gate areas, separation can be much tighter, sometimes just a few feet, and pilots are responsible, often guided by marshalers or ramp control instead of ATC. When it comes to the runway, separation rules are more specific, and vary depending on the phase of flight. For arrival to arrival, the first aircraft must be completely clear of the runway before the next one crosses the runway threshold, no exceptions. For departure to departure, the standard minimum separation is 6,000 feet, about a mile, and the first aircraft must be airborne before the next one is cleared for takeoff. Since many runways are over 2 miles long that spacing is critical for safety. In a departure followed by an arrival the departing aircraft must be at least 6,000 feet down the runway and airborne before the arriving plane is allowed to cross the threshold to land. So, who's responsible? If the aircraft is on a runway or taxiway, it's ATC's job to manage separation. But once the aircraft enters the ramp or gate area, pilots and ramp personnel take over. Every foot of space at the airport is carefully managed to keep things moving. Comment, like, and subscribe to get daily aviation content.